The board of the West Indian Company Limited, WICO, agreed to review salary scales for security staff when they met on Monday to receive updates on a number of matters from WICO President and Chief Executive Officer Anthony Otley. Otley spoke about the difficulties in recruiting and retaining workers in this critical aspect of WICO's operations. Current and other assets increased by 6.9 million, mainly due to the 6.7 million increase in cash and cash equivalents, of which 6.2 million was restricted, cash directly related to the bond issuance. For fiscal year 2022, the company's liabilities amounted to 63.7 million, of which 51 million represents port facilities revenue bonds, 9.3 million represents a tax payable to the government of the VI for uh, pilot. 1.25 million is compensated absences, 992,000 for bond interest payable, 717,000 for payroll protection loan, and 409,000 of accounts payable and other accrued expenses. Total liabilities increased by 10 million due to the following accounts. $51 million increase in long-term debt related to the issuance of Port Facilities Revenue Bonds, and 992,000 increase in bond interest payable, offset by a 42 million decrease in short-term debt, 160,000 decrease in accounts payable and other accrued expenses, and 53,000 de decrease in pilot taxes. Six potential candidates were interviewed for security positions, Otley said, but two failed the test and the other four declined offers at the current rate of pay. Board members agreed that the pay schedule for security employees needed to be adjusted. Otley also provided the board with an overview of the company's financial position following the end of its fiscal year on September 3rd. A 1.8 million decrease in losses. This is primarily due to a 5.3 million increase in the revenue offset by a 3.5 million increase in expenses. For fiscal year 2022, WICO earned slash received 7.5 million in revenue of which 4 million or 53% of total revenue were ARPA funds. The remaining 3.5 million or 47% was sales revenue and other miscellaneous income Otley indicated that while there was a net loss incurred by WICO of $6.2 million for the period ending September 30th, this was a better performance than 2021 when net losses totaled $8 million. This continues to be a challenge at the current compensation level. WICO's board also discussed an ongoing water leak that has cost the company over $150,000 to date. It's probably about between in losses would ultimately be somewhere between Twelve to fifteen thousand a month. A month, correct. In loss, yes. Right. Water loss. And why are we waiting a month to get this solved? Well, what we're doing is we are in uh, negotiations with GRS so that they can go ahead and pay half. For the past three months, we we have stopped paying the, the bill because we expressed the water the the necessity to uh, do this line, and we anticipate to have a meeting with with them this week. The time frame, we haven't gotten back from uh, WAPA the amount that, that we're look. I mean, the amount of time that they would uh, get that water, that new uh, water line onto our property, uh, but we are looking to do that within a month. And we have built in some contingencies on getting possibly water tanks for the two buildings that do not have water systems at this particular time. On a positive note, Otley described how WICO's accounting department prevented an attempt at a financial breach. I would once again like to congratulate our accounting staff for falling yet another attempt of an outside party to access our system and obtain funds via wire transfer. Our IT contractor was notified and secured our system. Several other matters were discussed by the board before the meeting concluded in an executive session.